Brooklyn Independent Television. You know, when people ask me, you know, what kind of work I do, I tend to um, simply just say literally what I do, which is I work from sources that exist, and I most things that I paint are things that are in my life, um, and it's a combination of found forms and found objects uh, that I bring into the space, as well as things that I actually have. I think painting to me is not about recording likeness, but I think a painting for me is about process, and process of looking is very conflicting. Like what was interesting to me about this painting is I was standing very close to the chair and therefore her, and so when she's sitting in this chair, this you know ornate chair, which is kind of big, so there's an extreme comparison there and the person feels even smaller because this is a big chair and then I'm really close to her and you there isn't that objective distance of an image and I'm not interested in the idea of a view as much as I'm interested in like falling into the space or that sense of scale that's outside the event affecting you like I could touch this part and I wanted that to come through in the painting and the fact that I can touch this and I can't touch that area and the fact that when I go from here to here, yes, it's hair, but it's also like this weird black mass. One of the things I've been thinking a little bit about is the theatricality of the domestic. All of this was painted on top of a different painting, like a completely different painting. But then what happened is as I was working, this I began to think of this as part of the painting and not just what's underneath, which gave me an idea that I would not have had if I was working on just a white canvas. I don't know, I don't know what it is right now as, uh, for me right now the drawing is figuring out if I want to do something with this idea or not, which is about a group of uh, people. I was telling somebody yesterday that d this is a painting of uh, the meeting of the invisible people. Um, but, you know, that's tongue-in-cheek. But, you know, they, there's this element of the presence, the other, the human element without the human being, and as much as it exists in this painting of the clothes hanging on the clothing rack. Um, I think the beginnings are really important. It kind of sets the tone for the overall kind of feeling, or the, um, I don't want to say feeling, that's a little bit too of a word, but uh, it kind of sets the tone of the piece. Um, and if I'm working on a grouping of something, then I think the drawing has to begin with a sense of grouping as opposed to what's in the group. At the end of the day, I think what I'm interested in, in is uh, looking and, and how that can, uh, uh, and slowing down. And you know, what I get drawn to in terms of work is uh, when a work conveys more than the surface. If I can stay with something longer than five seconds, you know, see with video, you have to stay the span of the thing if you're gonna look at one. But you know, I like with the painting, it's like if you don't like it, you can leave in about you know, half a second. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.